Well, welcome back to 420 Things Grow. I, uh, as promised, this is my next video, a little bit of unboxing. Forgive my, uh, forgive my duct tape. That's, uh, that doesn't come from China like that. That's me trying to, uh, remove the, uh, stickers that says who the fuck I am and get it so you guys can't see that. I couldn't rip it off, so I said, screw it, put some duct tape on there. <laughs> But anyways, this is a King Bright quantum board setup. This is, uh, I'll put the link in the description of what I got. Uh, I got this off of Alibaba, however you say it. Took me about a week from China to Canada. Was quite, quite cheaper than the AHLG version. Uh, that one runs about uh, 1400 bucks. So this one, uh, Less than 600 Canadian to the door with import charges, with um, delivery. I think it was like 100 bucks American for delivery, but I think it was 300 American on site. So, like I said, quite a bit cheaper. This is their, <clears throat> they market it as their um, version 3 board says it has the uh, the LEDs that are uh, higher than the B's. This is the H's, which I believe it when I see it. But uh, I've seen some people uh, talking on Reddit saying these are decent boards. So it's packed in here pretty good. I would assume it was going to be a little bit bigger, but it seems to be uh, spaced out all right. It says that it's good for a 4x4 flower setup, but it's, it's in there uh, very... Very well protected. I got the uh, 3000K light spectrum from them. It says this is a pre-wired setup. Let's get this out of the box. Some of the stuff off the table so we can get it here. Put that off to the side. Pull out uh, some extra, some extra stuff here. This, yeah, okay. Some more extra stuff. This is the driver. <coughs> Pull that out. And I'm not sure what's in this box. It's fairly light, skinny. Let's get this out. The box itself, not that big, not that bad setup. Also pretty decent. Perfect. So. Let's open this first little light skinny box here and see what's in here. I don't need that anymore. There we will. Some more packing. Some more packing. Oh, look at the packing. <laughs> what you have here is some hangers, some eyelets, a little bit of instruction booklet. A bit overkill for that box, but let's check out the driver. The driver comes with this is. Ooh, an LED driver. It's the Meanwell driver. What you got here is, uh, what does it say here? 480H, 48B. Not sure why this sticker's here. Wonder what's underneath there. An LED driver. Let's pull that off and see what's underneath there. Meanwhile, either way, got some protection here. Don't want to use the knife. Not really sure what's in here. But, regardless of that, it's already got these. Oh, this is the adjustment here. Looks like it, the, the knob to adjust it. Yeah. That, that. In a minute, take this board off out of its protection. Jeez. All right, King Bright. Seen any videos of these? I uh, definitely haven't seen an unboxing of one. I have not seen one on YouTube, so I figure this is uh, something. Bring to everybody, and then I'm also going to be doing. Uh, I 
grow uh, blog of what uh, what actually happens here during the grow. I've got some uh, CBD plants that are uh, ready. They're small plants ready to be transplanted into some bigger pots and ready to get underneath these lights. There's a bit of scuffs here on this. Uh, this is fairly heavy aluminum, so I guess it's going to dissipate the heat pretty well. It's already pre-wired for to the boards themselves, as you can see. Um, it says Samsung. That's what it says on the board. Now, again, this is just a, a board, right? But uh, so we get the information there. Assuming that you can see it. Take the camera out of its perch. But yeah, it says Samsung LM301H. 3000K. But yeah, wiring here. Put that over here. Let's get into the instructions here. Get the ends are wrapped up in a zip lock, eh? King Bright HL G 550 V2 board instructions. Now clearly they have not updated to the V3 because that's what this one was supposed to be. And it's uh, the V2 is the one that came with the uh, different uh, letter at the end of this. So, pretty straightforward here. Red colors to here, red colors to that. Got this. Let's get this open here so we can see what kind of attachments we have. A little tape might have to pull out the old knife. Cut my fingers off, maybe. Let's Power cord, connection to the power cord. A lot of people uh, are putting these on the boards themselves. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that. You know, have to see what kind of wire this is. This looks like a braided wire that they've soldered at the end. That just connects into where it needs to connect into. Once I read the instructions, I think I'm going to run a wire. Put this outside of my, uh, put this on the side of my grow tent. I don't want it to be uh, the extra heat from this inside the tent. Now, I've switched from a 1000 watt high pressure sodium. I think heat is no longer going to be an issue for me, but why not mount this on the outside if I can? So anyway, so the hangers are nice. I didn't think it was going to come with hangers, but it didn't say in their description that it had hangers, but whatever, a couple extra hangers. A couple zip ties, some wires to hook up to these hooks. I have a few extra screws. I'm assuming those are the screws to mount this to this plate. But like I said, I think I'm going to mount it to the uh, rafters outside of the tent. What I'll do is I'll... Uh, going to uh, put a link... I'll take a picture of this, put it on the Instagram uh, page, uh, which is uh, 420 Things Grow as well on Instagram. I'll put a detailed picture of this so you guys can see it, see what you're looking at. Assuming it's online somewhere else, but if not, I'll, I'll get it there and look for you guys. Um, so yeah, the, the, these wires are quite short to go from from here to the back side, but uh, yeah. Here you go, guys. This is uh, hooked up, somewhat pre-wired. I got to do some wiring, which is fine because I want to put that outside anyways. But uh, overall, other than the scratches on the board, which pff, I don't really care, pretty straightforward. Took less than a, well, it took a week. I ordered it Thursday, our time, China was Friday, I got it here the Friday afterwards, so a week. And like I said, under 600 bucks to the door, it's not that bad of a deal for one of these setups. So yeah, so uh, that's it, that's what you get in the box. Pretty straightforward guys, so uh, yeah. Once I get it all hooked up and ready, I'll uh, do another video of the install. And then uh, before we get it going into the grow. But I think for now, we're going to call this quits in an unboxing. Not bad. Fairly, uh, fairly secure once it got here.